Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. For today's lesson, we're going to kind of have a brief conversation about arrays, right? Now, arrays are used in third grade math, sometimes second grade math, and beyond third grade math as well. They're also used in algebra and geometry and, you know, as a way to multiply and provide a visual for multiplication. So what we're, we're instructed to do is to draw an array using factors four and two. So when you see that term factor, we know we're dealing with multiplication because factors are numbers that can be multiplied together to result in either a multiple or a product, a multiple or a product. But we're going to use an array to show a visual of what that looks like. All right. So we're going to draw some dots. Now, when we have factors four and two, the first number typically refers to the number of rows we have in our array. The first number is the number of rows we have in our array. The second number is the number of columns that we have in our array. Now, an array is, an, is a rectangular organization of objects. Could be dots, could be some whatever type of object. Could be, you know, a type of toy, could be a type of animal, whatever, right? So we got four rows, two columns. Four rows, two columns. There's also a way to introduce area, right, and area models, you know, different dimensions of rectangles, squares, and such and such. All right, so let's do this. Let's do four rows. So I'm going to do one dot, row one, row two, row three, and row four. So these are four rows, row one, row two, row three, and row four. And this is something that children often confuse. Rows are horizontal. Rows are horizontal. Columns are vertical. Columns are vertical, similar to a column in a house or a column in a building or outside of a museum. You might see a column. All right. So we have four rows, one, two, three, four, two columns. So then this is our first column, first column. Second column is going to be right here, column two, but also four rows. So we have a dot in each row. So now this is a way to show visually multiplication. Right now we can say we have four, two times or four times two which we may know from memory is eight, or we can just add up or count up all the dots and then also show and be re or be reminded of the fact that multiplication is just repeated addition anyway. So we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here we've used an array to essentially prove and show or show and prove that four times two is equal to eight. And that's today's lesson.